Okay, in this video, we're going to attempt to show you how to set the audio levels for an RNG when using a magic lantern hatch camera such as this, which is an old Canon T2i. So um, obviously you turn it on. One thing fascinating about the uh, T2i and the, any of the hacked cameras is the audio controls are excellent and they actually make sense. So we're going to go through to the menu and if you use a uh, magic lantern you know the trash can is your access to the menus. The first group of menus, if I flip back and forth you can see the first group is audio. So we're, we're going to press set and go into that area. The first thing you see at the top is analog gain. We're going to turn that all the way down. This is actually what creates all the noise and the limited dynamic range and all the trouble with performance that people talk about when they talk uh, about DSLRs. At zero dB, um, it's all the way down, as you can see. Then we go down to these weird uh, digital gain for left and right channels. I don't think anyone should ever use these. These are a digital boost or like kind of cutting numbers off the end. Uh, so make sure those are zero. Notice that it, uh, it turns the color red to indicate that you've, you've made possibly a disastrous choice. Uh, input source, we're going to change it to external stereo because we're using the external input and not the internal microphone. This mic power control I wouldn't bother with and notice that the auto gain control is turned on in this case and that's the thing that makes all the breathing and pumping and noise and we're going to turn that off. Now we have a fully manual camera where the gain is turned all the way down and we get a nice solid line level signal. Um, all right, that's about it. There's some meters. You, I recommend you turn them on. You'll notice that when the gain's all the way down, the meters on the camera exactly match the RNG and that's because they actually make perfect sense, which is a thrilling uh, and relaxing thing. Press the trash can to leave and you're back to shooting and you're ready to go. And we've tested this on 5Ds and the T2i and before they're hacked, they have really weird places where turning it up one click from zero uh, is, and is very strange, but all of the hacked cameras behave correctly, at least all the ones we've tested and they all work perfectly. So it's really a good thing um, if, if you don't use Magic Lantern and you have one of these Canon cameras, I highly recommend it.